Hello everyone, we will be making um, homemade ice cream for the first time today in our nostalgia ice cream maker that I got from Walmart for $19.88. I also will go through with this video and show you some of the other items that I purchased. I didn't do an unboxing um, with this ice cream machine, but um, I did show you some of the things that came with the ice cream machine. Like right there, you've seen the instruction manual that's the bucket that holds the ice and the salt um i purchased this machine from walmart like i said for 1988 i believe and it was a handy machine i um, watched several videos and it pretty much did everything that they said on on other youtube videos that i found right here um i'm showing you the paddle that um came with the machine and you place the paddle standing up in the metal canister that holds your ice cream mixture right here that's the top that goes on top of the canister and i already pre-washed um all of my items that will be touched by the ice cream um mixture that's a cap that goes on top of the top Whereas you can store your ice cream if need be in the canister. And right there, I'm just showing you how it would look once it's standing up and um, flush in the canister. The canister um, I've already had in the freezer. I decided I was going to make this ice cream on Friday, so I decided to wash all my ingredients um, early. So I washed everything Wednesday. And the canister that you see there on the box, I already have that in the freezer. That is the motor that comes with the ice cream machine, and that's what makes the magic. And what I found was that the paddle doesn't turn in the machine. It's actually the whole canister that turns in the machine. I was just showing you um, some of the instruments I will be needing, which is a whisk, a big bowl, and a measuring cup. The um, ingredients that were needed, even though you buy the ice cream mixture package, um, you need whole milk. You need heavy whipping cream. You need two cups of both. And you need to pour them into a bowl, then pour in your ice cream mixture and whip until it is well um, mixed and um, where there's no lumps or anything in your mixture. Um, also, according to um, several videos that I looked at, they said that it was best to have your mixture chilled also so what i did was last night i went ahead on and made this video mixed up my ingredients and i stored my mixture in the ice box so i had my canister in the freezer and i had that in the freezer since wednesday and i mixed up my ingredients Thursday night right before I was getting ready for bed and I placed that also in the ice box so that the mixture could be chilled also. And right there I'm showing you the package that I um, chose. We went with the regular vanilla cream and those are the instructions. One packet, two cups of whole milk, two cups of heavy whipping cream and um several of the videos said the more fat in the whole milk the better the better consistency you will get with your ice cream now the only discrepancy that i felt was that all the videos said do not um overfill so with my mixture of two cups of heavy whipping cream, two cups of um, whole milk and the ice cream mixture, my, when I poured it in, it came, I'm gonna say maybe on a stretch halfway. 
They say it don't overfill because as the ice cream thickens, it will expand. As you will see, when I got through and my mixture came to its consistency, it still was at the same level. It was barely, barely at half of my canister. So I feel like I could have possibly did another cup of milk and another cup of um, heavy whipping cream. And I think that would have given me uh, at least a half a canister of ice cream. But as you see right there, I've whisked up my ingredients. I'm pouring in my heavy whipping cream right there. Two cups of that. And that's just the Walmart brand. The milk I went with, I just stopped by um, the grocery store and tried to get the best um, whole milk because my mind was on when the gentleman in the video that I watched said to try to get whole milk with the most fat content. So I'm mixing all my ingredients up with a whisk just to make sure that everything is blended well. There's no lumps in the mixture. And now I'm getting a piece of fall paper just to cover over my um, mixing bowl and I'm going to place that in the ice box until in the morning. Morning slash afternoon. So as you can see, I went with the Organic Valley Whole Milk, the Nostalgia um, Vanilla Cream Ice Cream Mixture, and the Walmart brand of Heavy Whipping Cream. That is the canister. You can see that the canister is frosted and that's because it was in the freezer and like I It's on Friday and I'm showing you how the paddle it stands straight up because it has a little divot that the paddle um, can rest on inside of the canister. I'm pouring in my mixture that I took out of the ice box. And as you can see, it doesn't even go halfway up the canister. I put the top on and I had put the little um, cap that went on the top, but I had to take that off in order for the um, in order for the motor to go on. But I chose to put my ice in before I put my motor on top and that's the rock salt that I am using. Now, every one of the videos that I've seen, they said the more salt, the better. About one to two bags, small bags of ice. I actually use the whole bag, a small bag of ice and barely, barely. As my ice melted, I just put more ice instead of adding the salt too. And as you can see, this is a couple of hours after I have made it, I placed it into a container. It was still soft. I had put it up in the freezer. I had it added the Oreos in layers. But the next time I'm going to just add the Oreo in the mixture. I just didn't want the Oreos to be soggy. I felt like maybe the Oreos would be soft. Made with those two cups of whole milk, two cups of heavy whipping cream, and one package. 
it made. That container right there says that it is a eight cup container. So that's how much. It turned out well, we enjoyed it. And I look forward to trying other combinations and other mixtures. Thank y'all.